Hey, this is Greg over at DIY RV and Home. Out of the trailer again, doing a project. Today, lend a hand, handrail. Installing it right here at the door. So, I'm gonna take you along with the install. Let's get it done. Now, first thing I gotta do is I gotta mark the holes where I'm gonna put it. I've already determined that I wanna put the handrail right there. I'm using this lip right here as the top edge of mine. Wherever you wanna put yours, go ahead. Now, the unit does come with three holes on each of the brackets. Manufacturer says that if you're stalling this on your trailer or something like that, uh, that you're gonna be using the two inner holes to do it on this style door, left-handed door, unless you have backing for the third hole. And that is you'd have to add some backing in or the original, the, if you're building a trailer or the original manufacturer has backing back there for you. I don't, so I'm just using the two holes. What I've done is I've taken a drill bit and I've added a little bit of tape to it to take up the slop, let's see if I can't get you in on this, to take up the slop in that hole so I can precisely mark where I want to put the hole into the, uh, through the siding into the stud. And the, the drill bit I'm going to be using is a 1 8 inch. So, line it up where I want it. I'm going to take and put that drill bit in there. Twist it. Hopefully without moving the upper one, I can get in here. And mark. All right, I've got some marks in the paint that I can visibly see. I'll have to remark the one lower one, but what I'll do is I'll get these two drilled, get the screws started, and I'll go back in because I'm not actually seeing where I got it. I believe I actually, right here at the lip is where it is. So let's get her, uh, get a couple holes drilled and get her partially mounted. Now one thing you want to do is start slow on your drill bit. Make sure you get a good hole so it doesn't wobble all over the place. If you do need to, you can get a uh, little uh, center punch and just give it a little tap just to get a little more divot into it. I'm going to try freehand it. Hopefully I don't mess it up. I got two holes drilled. I haven't gone all the way in yet. Um, I want to make sure that uh, I don't go too far in. Remember these walls are only about an inch and a half thick so if you go too far in possibly drill through the other side. It's not fun to try to repair those. Okay, now we got the holes drilled. What I'm going to do is, let me grab the handle. I'm going to actually take silicone. And I'm going to put silicone into the hole and fill it up. And then I'm going to come back in with the screw and screw it in. That way it allows uh, to get some sealing there. Then I'm going to actually put a blob right here because on on these corrugated style uh, trailers, it's not gonna actually flat uh, mate right up to those. So that's gonna be the best way. I looked at putting some uh, butyl tape on it, but the way these are designed on the back, the butyl tape would just push in. I don't think it would give 
any sealing, any better sealing than what I'm going to do with the silicone. So let me get it done, show you it, and we'll have this thing finished. Oh, and the silicone is actually for RVs. Uh, it's a GeoCell product. I'll put a link down below. So I'm just pushing in from the back side. And then what I'm gonna, like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a nice little blob. Help take up any of those contour pro issues. Now when you put it on, you know, you want to be careful because now you got that silicone, you don't want to be messing, getting silicone all over the place. So uh, take your time when you uh, line it up to put it on. So we got it on there. Let's make sure we put that upside down. Don't want to have to try to clean out any of the ass in there. I'm going to wipe the tip off. I'm going to add just a little extra silicone right there too, just for safety. Push some right into that hole. Let's see if we can't get this on here without making a mess. Don't lose your bit. All right, so the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that caulking gun back. Where did I put her? I lost her. That I did. I put it on the tire. Make sure she's wiped up. I'm gonna go in and give it a little uh, love on the head of the screw. Kind of a seal her up. I'll come back in a minute with uh, some denatured alcohol. Finish wiping that up, get that cleaned up. But get my hands wiped off real quick so I can bring you in and show you. Let's see. There it is. All right, so we've got the, the silicone in the holes. We've got right in there pretty good. I think I'll add me just a little bit of silicone right underneath that just to add just a little extra security. Now you do notice there is a hole on the bottom, so if any, anything does get in there, it'll just go right on through. Let's shut this door real quick. So she can actually go either way. I guess if you're worried about your door falling open, you can add, use that as extra security. <laughs> All right, there it is. The Stromberg Carlson lend a hand. I think my wife's gonna be really happy. Yeah, she feels she feels uh, very secure right there. So I hope this uh, helped make you the decision that if you wanted to purchase one and do it yourself, put it on. Really easy, a few holes, and uh, just uh, take your time. Catch you on the next video.